Panda, 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 panda. I got brides in Atlanta, just to the in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, getting the licks in the band. Legacies. Hello and welcome to the world once again in Lawn Mode YouTube channel. Today, again, I'm here with a new topic which is about hypertext markup language in short HTML. Okay, let's get into the topic. Talking about HTML, hypertext markup language. Is a markup language which is a set of markup tags that are used to create web page. Simply, you can say HTML hypertext markup language is a markup language which has markup tags that are used to design web page. HTML was developed by Tim Berners Lee in 1980. Hope you understood about hypertext markup language. Let's get into the types of web page. There are generally two types of web page. They are static web page and dynamic web page. You can see in the highlighted text. Talking about static web page, static web page show the same content each time they are viewed. It means there is no changes in the content of static web page. Whereas the dynamic web page have content that can change each time they are assisted. It means the content of dynamic web page changes each time we assist. Okay, static web page and dynamic web page are the two types of web pages. Okay, dynamic web pages are typically written in scripting languages such as PHP and ASP, that is Active Server Page. Now let's move to the features of HTML. I have made there four features of HTML. Okay, let's get into the features. Okay, first feature HTML is easy and simple to use. Of course, everyone know about this. HTML is very easy and simple to use. Now, talking about the second feature, HTML is supported by different text editors like Notepad and WordPad. Now, next point HTML document can be executed in different web browsers such as Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer, which is free. The final, the first, last features of HTML and it's HTML support different hyperlinks and image format. It means when you create web page by using HTML, then you can insert hyperlinks as well as image. Okay, now let's move to the HTML tags. Okay, HTML tags. What are HTML tags? Now let me explain. HTML tags are all the keywords or commands used in HTML. They are surrounded by angle brackets, like you can see in the red highlighted text, angular bracket, and HTML. The tags tell the browser how to display the document in the web page. It means everything depends on the tags. Whatever tags you define in your HTML query, according to that, our web page will be designed. Okay. Now, the HTML tags normally found in peer. HTML tags are normally found in peer, like we can see in the green and red highlighted text. Angular bracket B tag and closing B tag. Now let me explain about the types of HTML tags. So basically, there are two types of HTML tags. They are container tags, or you can take pure tag, and next one is empty tag or singular tag. There are generally two types of HTML tags. Okay, let's explain them. Container tag or peer tag. Container tag is such type of tag which has its related ending tag with start tag. It means container tag comes with start tag as well as end tag. Okay. Start tag, start, start tags are written within angular bracket and the end tags are written within 
angular bracket with the slash. You can see in the new highlighted text in front. It will only tag content slash like in the new highlighted text. The starting tags activate the effect and the closing tag turn off the effect. It means starting tag active the effect and ending tag turn off the effect. Some example of container tag you can see in the green highlight text, HTML, head, title, body, etc. These are the example of container tags or you can take pure tags. And you can see the body structure of pure tag body that we are designing with it and body tag close. You can see I have described here that body, the front body is the start tag and whatever we write inside body tag that is markup text and the finally with slash angular bracket that is in tag. So this in tag always contain here slash symbol in front. Okay, now talking about empty tag or singular tag, these tags have no ending tags. It means there is no ending tag in this empty tag. They are also called singular tag. Some example of empty tag are you can see in the red highlight text and your bracket IMZ, DR tag, and SR tag, these are empty tag. It means it does not contain empty tag. No need to in this tag. Okay, the basic structure of empty tag you can see IMZ SRC is equal to image.jpg. Here IMZ is an empty tag which does not have its ending tag. It means if we are using IMG tag or image tag in your HTML coding, then you need to use ending tag for IMG tag because it is empty tag or singular tag. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you understood the topic HTML. If you have any confusion, you can comment below. I will reply. On the answer, and if you are new in this YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.